Let's speak now to Andrea Montanino, the Director of Global Business and Economics at the Atlantic Council in Washington. Uh, nice to speak to you. Uh, now, the German Parliament votes today on the bailout deal, but the country's finance minister says he thinks that Greece walking away from the Eurozone is a better option for the country. Do you think the deal is sustainable? Well, I think most people are convinced that this deal is not sustainable. Uh, the International Money Fund came yesterday, uh, two days ago, with, uh, with uh, the new debt sustainability analysis, stating clearly that the country is not sustainable, even if uh, the deal uh, is reached, as, as we know now. So uh, I don't know whether um, Finance Minister Schauble is right, but I don't think we can completely rule out his view. Now, are the protests we've seen in the last few days evidence that in the years ahead it's just politically and socially unrealistic to think that Greece can sustain a decade of austerity? Uh, yes. Uh, according to the estimation, uh, Greece should run a primary surplus of something like 3.5% over a very long term, uh, which is something we have never seen anywhere in the world, and I don't think Greece is in the position to do so. So there will be, I think, protests, and I don't know whether they will manage to keep the country as it is for a long period. There is also a huge limitation of sovereignty in the deal, because all the privatization will be decided by an independent body with the Troika, with the institutions, so the government cannot even decide on its assets. And also there is another limitation, which is any draft law as to get the green light uh, by the creditors before going to the parliament. So I don't know whether the country uh, and the government can really uh, manage such a situation of uh, uh, a high primary surplus, uh, limitation of sovereignty and, uh, and everything that can come with this. And if Greece did fall out of the Eurozone, what would it mean for Greece and the rest of Europe? Well, for Greece, it's clearly a disaster if uh, uh, it fell out of the Eurozone without, say, a rescue package. Uh, this is a country with, uh, uh, with no economy, no business model, uh, no competitive advantage with other countries in the world. And in a globalized economy, you have to find out which is your comparative advantage. So I think it would be a disaster for Greece. Uh, for the Eurozone, I don't see big problems. I mean, the Eurozone is strong enough now. Uh, both its member states and the European institutions are stronger, so uh, they can resist. Clearly, there is a political question. What is Europe in the future? What is the vision for Europe? And this question is unresolved and un unanswered so far. Andrea Montanino, thanks very much.